Okay. So right now, what are you doing? I'm putting it back to stock. Okay, so he just got a Lund tune. So right now, we're just gonna put it back to stock. The stock tune from the old Bama tuner. All right, try to. Just install the end gauge up here, routing wire all the way down to the OBD2 port. Let's give it a start, see if we can tell the difference. Probably not. That's dope. but nowhere near as much as last night. Bro, who cares? Let's get to the road. Holy sh I think that was just because it was a cold start, but Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was like really verbally. That's what I was going to say. I was like, I was like, okay. <laughs> this is the second? Yeah. Okay. Pulls here and there. Um, so the tune that we've been running on, that's been in, that I've wrote, wrote in like the whole time is Alabama. First drive on Lund. Holy crap! I don't know if I'm being biased. I don't know, but if it feels like, like every time. That's what I'm thinking. But, but it feels like there's. It, it's it feels, harder. It pulls harder as soon as you engage. I feel that's like what it's I've definitely noticed. more responsive. It feels like there's less engine lag or like fuel cut because it it just goes now like it just goes so it's nice although we need to look at this because the shift light doesn't seem to be working well one thing what i was going to say that i noticed is every time you engage like right after you shift it pulls like it feels like 75 percent more I had a little nightmare of it where it kind of gave us some crankshaft yeah, it, lights. Okay, so we got the tune in from Lund and out of nowhere it started throwing crankshaft, like uh, P0315, which is like crankshaft misplacement uh, or something. The cr crankshaft positioning sensor. Positioning, yeah. And it was with that, it was with Lund. So we went back to the old tune, reset it for stock, and then put the old tune back on and it still had the same code and I was ready to flip because I thought that they fucked something up with my sensors and they ended up um, fixing it so now it's good, there's no more uh, engine codes, and we're driving on it to see if it throws an engine code with the catalytic converters, which it typically throws like P0420 or P0430, and if it doesn't, I'm gonna order catalyst pipes. It's just gonna be loud. It already screams at you. And keep in mind, we have probably the quiet, most quiet cat back, which is like the MBRP street. It's, it's, a, it's a straight through muffler though, so when you get high enough, it really doesn't do anything. It just screams. But like, there's no idle, like idle it sounds, Maybe like a little louder than stock. Actually, it's it's a good amount louder than stock. But the 15 through 17 mufflers are quieter. Any mufflers you put on this will be loud. Was it like half throttle? I'm impressed. I am too. And I haven't even driven it. <laughs> I'm just happy with like the way it is, man. It's just it, it feels better. And I, like I said, like we said, it might be a placebo effect, but honestly, I, I feel like there's a it difference. It could be, but I personally feel like there's a bit of a difference. I just feel like it's more responsive and a little bit more, um, like you said, smooth. But we're stopped in a tunnel in neutral, and yeah, but our ass end is barely in the tunnel. It'll echo. Sounds well, the same. Yeah, just wait, Catalyst, bro, at this point. <laughs> God, that's not so good. No sh you could probably go to fourth and 80, can't you? Did you just go from sixth to fourth? Yeah. <laughs> 